Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to talk about table tennis robots. Now, not everybody's a fan of using a table tennis robot, but I think they are really useful. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. I'm going to give you seven, seven reasons why I think using a table tennis robot is really helpful for you to improve at table tennis. There are loads of different table tennis robots you can use. You can get cheap basic ones and expensive super duper ones. The table tennis robot that I have is the Power Pong Amiga. It's one of the more super duper fantastic ones. In the description of this video, I've put two links. One link to an overview of different types of robots which are available and another link to a specific review of the Power Pong Amiga robot. So let me now try and convince you. Let's move on to my list of seven reasons why I think a robot can help you improve at playing table tennis. Number one, a robot is going to help you improve your technique. Doesn't matter what standard you are, beginner, intermediate, advanced. You can set the robot up, get it to feed you consistent balls and you can focus solely on the technique of particular strokes. For example, I'm trying to improve my backhand. Yeah, I'm okay at driving the ball, but I want to be able to spin the ball a little bit more. Using the robot, I can just get it to send me the balls to my backhand. I don't have to worry about winning points or anything like that. I can just focus on my technique, trying to use my wrist, trying to brush the ball, trying to get much more spin on my backhand technique. And you can do this with any shot. Loops, flicks, drives, blocks, pushes, whatever it is you're working on, using a robot allows you just to focus down on the technical aspect of your shot without having to worry about another player, without having to worry about playing points. Number two, robots are great for practicing attacking backspin balls. Backspin, ah, yes, we all have trouble with backspin. But a robot is great at giving you, again, quite heavy backspin that you can practice against. And without worrying about a player at the other end, you can really focus on the technique of looping a backspin ball with your forehand and with your backhand. A favorite drill of mine to do is to play one push, one loop, one push, one loop. So making that transition from playing a push shot to playing a loop shot. So robot, fantastic for getting better at attacking backspin balls. Number three, a robot will help you improve your rallying skills. Set the robot up to give you topspin balls. You can give one to the backhand, one to the forehand, and already you're starting to practice switching between backhand and forehand. With the better robots, you can set up all kinds of different drills switching between backhand and forehand into different positions on the table. This will help your consistency and then when you go to play other people for real, you find that you're able to keep the points going for longer. The more you do it, the better you get at it and eventually you get to a situation where you're able to out rally people who you've not been able to beat before. And this is why a robot is so useful for rallying skills. You can just drill the same thing again and again and again, forehands and backhands, forehands and backhands, yes! A table tennis robot can help you improve your ball placement, whether that is shots down the line, or shots cross court, or shots into the middle of the table. Try to get those balls deep on the other side of the table. You can also work on your short game, trying to keep the ball short, low, over the net, making it hard for your opponent to attack. So we can all be lazy when we're playing table tennis and just put the ball into the middle of the table, but it's no good. We want to get those balls into dangerous positions on the table and using a robot allows you to work on your ball placement to get the depth, to get the width, to make it harder for your opponent to return your shots. Number five, this is a controversial one, 
but returning serves. What? How can you get a robot to serve at you? Well, you can't really. It's not going to serve in the same way as your opponent can serve, but you can set up robots that they give you a ball which replicates a particular service spin. So if I want to practice returning short backspin serves, I can make the robot do that. It can serve the ball short. I can practice either touching, pushing, or flicking. This is really useful. If I want to practice returning long topspin serves, I can set the robot up to do that. Here they come, the long fast topspin serves, which then I can either block back or I can try and topspin back. Yes! Side spin. Ah, everyone hates returning side spin serves. Ooh. Well, a robot can give you a bit of side spin as well. Therefore, you get to practice overriding the side spin, top spinning the ball back or pushing it back. It's going to help you deal with the spin. Okay, a robot's not going to allow you to read the service spin, but at least you can work on dealing with the spin and getting your shots right so that when you do read the service spin, you have a better chance of returning your opponent's serves. Number six, and probably one of the best things about a table tennis robot is that you can work on your footwork. One of the issues that sometimes we have when we're training with other players is that their placement isn't always so good and so accurate. So it can be difficult to do the footwork drills. Well, a robot has no such problems. It's going to give you a consistent ball and it's going to get it on the table every single time. So you can really focus on your movement, moving between backhands and forehands, playing your forehands in the backhand corner and the forehand corner playing closer to the table, taking a step back from the table, in, out. There's so much that you can do with footwork exercises with a robot. And I need to do more of them because my footwork sucks. But I have this robot, so I have no excuse. I can use it to help me improve my footwork. Yes! And finally, number seven on my list is fitness. Exercise, fitness, exercise, yes! You can use a table tennis robot to have a really good workout. And when you have a really good table tennis workout, yes, you feel good afterwards. Just using it for 10 minutes, you can have a decent workout. Do it for half an hour, an hour, it feels like you've had a really good form of exercise. So not only have you got yourself a little bit fitter, a little bit healthier, got yourself better at table tennis, you feel great as well. So, has that convinced you? That's way too much enthusiasm for me for one video. I'm exhausted. But, so let's just tone it down a little bit. Let's just talk a little bit more seriously about using a table tennis robot. Okay. Using a table tennis robot, I think, is a really good addition to your other table tennis play. I don't think that you should be using only a table tennis robot because all that's going to happen is that you're going to get good against using a robot. You absolutely definitely need to be practicing with other people, playing games with other people. That's what real table tennis is. But using a robot can help complement um, your other play. It can allow you just to really focus down on specific areas of your game and get better at them without having to worry about the feelings or the interests of another practice partner. The robot doesn't care, so you can really focus it entirely on you. So I think the real benefit of using a robot is using it alongside your other practice. Some robot time, lots of practice time with a real opponent, and plenty of match play time as well. Use them all together, then I think that can really help you improve. Which robot should you get? Well, it all depends what your budget is. Um, do you have space at home? Is it something you're gonna to need to transport to a club? So you've got to think about all of these things. Um, I've been using this PowerPong Amiga robot for a few months now. I have to say, I love it. I think it's a fantastic robot and I'm really happy to recommend it. Um, once again, I've got a review of this robot on my website. If you look at the description of this video, you'll find the link to that review if you want to know more about this particular robot. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have more videos coming soon. 
where I probably won't be quite as excitable as in this one. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.